Hi, my name is Dennis and I want to present you today the new features of WhatsApp Companion. WhatsApp Companion is a plugin developed by our company Orsena to improve the monitoring of the product WhatsApp Gold. As you know in WhatsApp Gold you have an SNMP monitor based but you don't have the ability to create your templates so you need to find your ID each time you want to uh, monitor something. With the SNMP monitor extended that we bring with WhatsApp Companion, you can create your uh, templates, SNMP templates, which is making the monitoring easier and faster. So you just go to your Active Monitor library and create your SNMP monitor extended. Just set the name that you want, SNMP Cisco for example, put the community, SNMP community, the port, set up also the timeout and the number of retries of your SNMP request. You can now import directly XML file. So we provide a list of a lot of templates, for example, Cisco, Trico, Marcatel, a lot of XML uh, monitoring with monitoring information that you can get. So for example, if we import the Cisco, that XML file, you can see a lot of information that we can monitor. You see here that there is a description on it with the OID used and the description of this monitor. W you can directly test the values that you want to uh, to get. So you just uh, enter the IP address of the device where you want to try this monitor. And so you're going to uh, gather data about the device and write on the threshold of the different counters directly the value. So it means that it gives you the actual value when you test, uh, when you click on test values button. So you have the threshold configured at the moment of you make it, but you can also configure by yourself. If we select some values as CPU usage, for example, on buffer failures, we can now click on OK. So our monitor is created and we're going to test it. We just select the device, Cisco device, that we want to uh, get some information. So we go in the folder containing it, Cisco. We just test it, clicking, and we saw the written count is zero, meaning that the threshold is not uh, the, the threshold is OK, so the monitor is going is up, no problem. You can see, so this value buffer failures, OK? So if we take the ORID to check if the ORID correspond to a value, uh, to a right value, and that is not making any mistakes. So we just use the MIB worker of WhatsApp Gold which is very useful and you can see here the value of th this OID buffer failures and the value just next so it's working well and you can so provide a lot of information in XML file also for CPU usage 5 minutes average we take the OID and we're going to check in the MIB worker this value. So you see the value is here and so it's working really well. So now I just want to go to the Cisco main uh, MIB so you see that all the information about this and I'm interested with the buffer SM3 okay let's say I want to edit uh, my template or create my template and I want to gather the data of buffer SM3 so I just go to the folder uh, in WhatsApp installation folder with SNMP XML and just copy for example the one example one cisco.xml one xml file i just copy it 
then I create my own. So let's say uh, my new Cisco template. Okay. So I just edit it. You can edit with text notepad, no normal notepad, but the interest with notepad plus plus is that you have the colors. So we just uh, want to to put only one uh, one value. So we just delete the all the values, and we're gonna only use one of the of the the template. So I erase everything. And now I'm gonna check the OIG. So basically it's one three six one four one nine, then two one and sixteen, which is the buffer SM3. So I go here and change the name first. So it's not anymore buffer failures, but buffer SM3. So we just change this information in the XML file okay now name and now the OID so we just replace this by 16 we save our template so our XML file is done. So we create a new active monitor, SNMP monitor extended. We put a name as the one before. We put description. So my new template, for example, community. Then import XML and we are gonna take our XML, my new Cisco template that XML. So now we see that we got the value, and we can also test the values <laughs> to get uh, to get a threshold, for example, automatically. So we specify the IP address of the device that we want to test, and now you see we got the value, so 50 at the moment. So the threshold will be 50, for example. And the description is, for example, what is written here. So it's very interesting. And you see, the value is, is 50. So it's working very, very well. So you can make a lot of uh, the templates that you want for your servers, for your network devices. It's just an XML file. So based on this, you can create the monitor, for example, for red status of uh, your servers or things like this. It's really, really useful. Um, so now we're going to test it on this one. And you see return code zero. So it's working well. Monitor is up. And then as I mean, you just say OK to validate, to have the monitor in your library. We go on the device. And you add your active monitor as any active monitors that you can find in WhatsApp Gold. Uh, so it's an MP Cisco. And just apply. And so now you WhatsApp Gold is going to check for um, different values and p value based on this template so it's very imp interesting interesting thing it's making things easier so you can share after the xml file templates so it's very very nice so thank you for your attention i hope you you like this video and don't hesitate to go on the store to download the trial version of whatsapp companion thank you to you and bye bye